In this episode, we'll look at how you can use the auto filter in Excel. And I'll show you a handy keyboard shortcut to use when filtering and unfiltering data. Managing the data on a large spreadsheet can be a challenge. There's an Excel feature called auto filter that can be very useful. I use auto filters a lot to do ad hoc analysis of data. You can use the mouse to apply auto filters and also clear them with the mouse, but it's often faster to use a keyboard shortcut and I'll show you both ways to do this. Here is a workbook with a list of countries and income statistics that I downloaded from the World Bank website. There is a lot of data in this workbook, as you can see. If you want a link to the original data, you can find that in the description field below the video. The income measure is called GNI, which is the Gross National Income, converted to US dollars. Don't worry too much about what this means or how it was calculated. For this video, you just need to know that we're going to filter the GNI data using Excel's auto filter. In columns BB to BF, I've added three year averages of GNI, ending in 1990, 1995, 2000, 2005, and 2010. In columns BG to BJ, I've added five year growth rates calculated using the three year averages in columns BB to BF. I'll first apply a filter using the mouse. The first thing to do with auto filters is usually to select the header row. A quick way to select the header row is to click on the row number. In this case, I'm going to click on the number 4. This selects the entire fourth row. Then I'll click on the data tab and click on the filter button, which is here. This adds drop down buttons to the header row, which you can use to filter your data column by column. Let's say we want to show all countries with GNI greater than $40,000 in the year 2010. So we add a filter on column BF. Then let's add another filter on column BJ to show all countries with greater than 40% growth rates in 2010. Now we've got a list of countries with GNI greater than $40,000 and having a 5-year growth rate greater than 40%. Next, let's say we want to filter the same data, but for GNI and growth rates in the year 2005 instead of 2010. To do this with the mouse, find the columns that are already filtered and take off the filters individually like this. Now let's add a filter on column BE to show all countries with GNI greater than $30,000 in the year 2005. Then let's add another filter on column BI to show all countries with greater than 30% growth rates in the year 2005. We have a different list of countries than before. Let's do the same thing again, but for data in the year 2000. This time, rather than taking off the filters individually like before, we'll click on the Data tab, then click on Clear Filters like this. This clears the filters on all the columns that were filtered. Now let's add a filter on column BD to show all countries with GNI greater than $20,000 in the year 2000. And we'll add another filter on column BH to show all countries with greater than 20% growth rates in the year 2000. Again, we have a different list of countries than before. Let's do this once more but for data in the year 1995. This time, instead of using the mouse to clear filters, I'll show you one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Press and hold Control and Shift, then press L to apply or remove the auto filter. I'll use this shortcut twice, first time to remove the filter and second time to reapply the filter. First, I select a cell inside the data range then press Ctrl and Shift and L. This removes the filters. Then I press Ctrl and Shift and L a second time to apply the filters again. You can see that this has cleared all the columns that were previously filtered. Now I'll add a filter on column BC to show all countries with GNI greater than $10,000 in the year 1995. 
and I'll add another filter on column BG to show all countries with greater than 10% growth rates in the year 1995. Okay, we have our list of countries. Let's see that keyboard shortcut in action again. The first time I press Ctrl and Shift in L, I turn the filter off. The second time I press Ctrl and Shift in L, I turn the filter back on. The result of this is that the previously filtered columns are no longer filtered. Remember that you must first select a cell inside the data table before you press Ctrl and Shift in L so that Excel knows to apply filters on that table and not somewhere else. Right, time for our recap. You will probably use auto filters a lot to do ad hoc analysis of data and you will end up with setting filters on several columns at once. When you want to revert back to your full data set you can clear all the filters by clicking on the clear filter button like this or by pressing Ctrl and Shift and L twice which is very fast when you get the hang of it. If you found this episode helpful and want to receive updates when I release more Excel tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Excel videos from Launch Excel.